guys from Retired and Living the Dream. Today's the day I'm going to go back to... <coughs> Today's the day I'm going to start my journey back to England. So this is what I'm going to leave for uh, maybe a month or two months. Look at this. Beautiful sunshine, blue skies, beautiful greenery. And this is what I'm going to go away from for two weeks. Unfortunately, I've, I've got to go to my stepdad's funeral. So, making the trip to England. And I, I think I'll be staying there for Christmas and New Year. Because my sister's there. And I'll spend some time with my sister and my family. But this is just, just, just to see. I'll do another video of Red Car. When I'm in Red Car, and it's going to be freezing cold. So, I've got all my winter clothes but this is just a sco little scooter around the house and this is what we're going to be going away from so from there i'm just going to show you the beach near where we live it's like a little fishing fishing place so everybody comes here to get all their fresh fish and crabs and things like that and in red car they have a uh, fishing boats as well <coughs> but just look at the difference between here and red car Beautiful blue skies, warm seas, <coughs> fishing boats bringing in their fish. So this is where I live compared to where I used to live in Red Car. Beautiful here. So yeah. Hi, Les from Retired and Living the Dream in Red Car. What a difference it is from Thailand to Red Car. You can see just behind me the vertical pier that Red Car built. So remember when I was stood at the beach in Thailand, how nice and warm it was? Well, now I'm back in England. I'm on the beach in Red Car where I used to live for years. And as you can see behind me, it's all foggy, misty. In November, it's freezing cold. But what do you do when you come to Red Car? You have an ice cream. Two pound for an ice cream. Two quid. I get KFC ice creams for 10 baht, like 25 pence in Thailand. So anyway, here's the beach. And look, look at the sea. It's not as warm and inviting as it is in Thailand. Have another daily walk. I like walking around, a bit of exercise, more exercise here in the UK than I do in Thailand because it's too hot to walk around but here <coughs> in Red Cat it's freezing cold so always wrapped up and warm. So I've been here for three weeks now, what do I think about it? I've got to say very expensive, very expensive, very expensive. That's what I find about living here in red car the sort of nothing cheap i do live cheaply in thailand and i do look for the cheap things in thailand for food and drinks and things like that but i've got to say it's a lot easier to do that in thailand than it is here you've got to scrutinize and look at everything here to find anything cheap Cheapest coffee I found in red cars in Weatherspoons, but again I meet people with Weatherspoons and Weatherspoons is a is a cheap breakfast and good value. It's the only place I found in red car that's certainly good value. One pound thirty-five for as many cups of coffee as you want. Now that's a bargain. So today I'm having a walk to Kirkley the Museum. But for three weeks here can't think of a single day that I've been warm, totally warm, where comfortably warm. And my sister keeps saying about putting central eating on, I said no, no need to do that for me. They can sit there and tolerate the cold much, much more than I can. Because I'm not used to the cold. So, as you can see, look, another grey, a grey day today. And I think out of three weeks of being here, we only had three or four days of sunshine. Yeah, walking along a, a little lane, beautiful trees, beautiful like wooded area going towards 
Kirkleatham Woods and Kirkleatham Museum. I forgot how nice it is in the autumn with all the leaves and the different colours. It's nice, it's a nice, a nice walk out. I've enjoyed it. Maybe it's about 30 minutes walk from my sister's house. At the Kirkleatham Wall Garden. A walk to Kirkleatham Wall Gardens. Maybe it's a 40 minute walk from my sister's house altogether. A little bit longer than what I thought. I've got a cappuccino and a scone and jam and cream. Six seventy-five, and I'm going to enjoy it. It's been a long time since I've had a scone with jam and cream. Look at this, totally calorie-free. But at the end of the day, it is Christmas. The Kirkleatham Wall Garden. Just had a view over it. Looks very, very beautiful. I'm sorry, it doesn't warrant five pounds. It's a beautiful little spot, without a doubt. The coffee is very nice and the scones are very nice. Winter time. It's winter time here, so it's very quiet. But it's very nice. Kirkleatham Wall Garden Tea Rooms. A little walk through Kirkleatham Village. Beautiful place. <coughs> You don't see much of it when you drive around in the car. The old church, Kirkleaven Village. That's one good thing about walking around. <coughs> you see much more than driving around in the car. And I've got to say, I've had some nice walks around Red Car. I've seen some places that I've probably not seen for a long, long, long time because I walk around and don't go around in the car. So it's going to be a nice little walk. Back home now. But it's good and it's enjoyable. And it's good for exercise. So, hopefully it's a long time before I'm in one of them. But look at this, beautiful. Like I said, some lovely parts of Redcar. 